fast to slow down Fireplace, do you know how? Pass the paper, my desk is out Who will care for the world now? Rest with me I know. I don't. I never my know how to start it. <laughs> hey guys, start it. welcome back to my Minecraft channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to the farm. We're gonna pick some blackberries and move some cattle and ride horses. Yeah, and hopefully play with the horses a little bit. We'll see how much footage we can get because sometimes you need to just have all your attention on what we're doing. So, we gotta go to the a grocery store for hamburger buns. Grandpa asked for bananas. And then I wanna to go to the thrift store where I got the bed and look to see because I feel like I saw the side rails somewhere on the floor there and I didn't realize it when I, at the time. So I'm gonna go and see if I can get that. Okay, let's see what, what we can come up with let's today. Let's go. Off like a herd of turtles. <clears throat> I think I'll just go right to Bancroft rather than stopping in town. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. I wasn't, wasn't honking at you. <laughs> oh, that's where I got my social skills from. <laughs> that was awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it was this random chick.
I do need to start using one because my audio is all over the place. So yesterday we went to my dad's farm and we mostly we just picked blackberries all along the fence rows. It's like my favorite little like path along the fence rows. And he was planting grain and then he was raking hay. So he never stops. And he wanted to move some cattle, but we didn't get around to that. And um, yeah, we had a nice visit. And I got this entire bucket full of blackberries. So I'm hoping to make a blackberry pie today. Actually, I wanna make two. And I'm thinking I have some raspberries in the freezer that I might make a blackberry raspberry pie. And so one for us and then one to take out to the farm. Uh, so I'm gonna bake one today and then probably make the other one and freeze it. I've never done that before, so that'll be interesting. So yeah, I'm just getting my, this is like my pre-workout. It's actually like a green tea. Um, and then my greens and then my collagen. And I'm gonna do a workout and I have, I started a new workout. It's called Dig Deeper. It's also on body. And I really, really like it. It's uh, all weightlifting, no cardio, but you're supposed to add kind of steady state exercise. So it works perfectly with my walks. And um, yeah. So I'm gonna have this, do my workout, eat my breakfast, probably do the dishes and stuff. I'm hoping to walk down to the thrift store and the post office and then come home and start making pies. So it's gonna be a bit of a busy day because pie takes a long time and I love making pie, but it's been a long time since I've made it. So I always feel like a witch doing this. Yeah, so hopefully this will just be a cozy little video of picking blackberries at the farm and playing with the horses and then baking a pie. Hopefully it'll be cozy. I feel like I'm starting to find my groove with making videos a little more. Um, worrying less about being perfect and just kind of showing up and doing it. So that's good. Yeah. I think it'll be good. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my workout done. This is this week we have been eating according to the container program. It's called Fixate. Um, so back in 2018, we 
did full on beach body. I actually became a coach and I loved it for a lot of reasons, but hated it for a lot of reasons too. So I let it go, but it was one of the best things I've ever done for myself. And as far as like self care and accountability. So we have started eating with the containers again and it's, I, I've been fighting against it because it feels, in my mind, I built it up to this very restrictive thing because there's no container for chips. There's no container for pie or chocolate or whatever. Um, and I think I have to let go of that perfection mindset and eat like this, like 80 or 90% of the time because it's so balanced and so healthy and I feel so much better. Um, it's, you know, it, it includes all your macros. You don't get rid of carbs. It's, it's, it's so great. But I had built it up in my mind as this unsustainable way to eat. And if you do just eat the containers all the time, it is unsustainable because it doesn't allow for imperfection, but it does you can take a day and eat whatever you want and if you have a celebration or something and i just have to let go of that kind of perfection mindset that i've been having that's been holding me back from doing it again so and it's just it's been what's today we started on monday and it's thursday today and i just feel so much better i feel so much better when i eat this way so that's important. It's an important part of healthy eating is how you feel. And sometimes it can be restrictive, but sometimes the hard thing is the good thing for you, right? It's like budgeting. I always compare it to budgeting. No one likes budgeting, but it's like something that you just have to do if you want to live a certain way. So that's what we're doing. I've been having mushrooms on toast with eggs very good um yeah so let's see if i can get everything done that i want to get done today i hope i do because i really enjoy making pies and they're so beautiful and so photogenic so hopefully hopefully it turns out i found a blackberry pie recipe from preppy kitchen which he hasn't let me down yet so i think it'll be good anyway let's see what we get done.
to the post office and the thrift store. So I'll show you what I got at the thrift store. I'll show you what I got yesterday at the thrift store and today. It's not a whole lot, but a few little treasures always. So this is a package from Poshmark. And, oops, see if I can cut myself here. Oh my God. I've been looking for months now. I've been trying to keep an eye out for a lined jean jacket, denim jacket for Mike, a Levi's. What is the deal here? I mean, range in prices from like two or $300 down to, but I got this one for like 40, I think. So, hopefully it's, wow, they really didn't want anyone to get into this. Okay. Let it this out. Oh, that's quite nice. Ooh, look at that. Look at like it. Poppy. Oh my god. Start your phones on. Obviously this isn't for me, but it is quite nice. So anyway, I thought that would be really nice for fall for him. I'm happy with that. That's cool. Levi's. <sighs> A package from Amazon came. I think it's just um, printer ink. I looked at my previous purchase history of it and it's like every four years exactly I buy this. I have to refill these last these last is four years. They're like no name printer cartridges and they're great. They work perfectly rather than going to Staples and or anywhere and buying like the brand name ones. And then I got some highlighters. I don't think you can really see that. I'm going to use them. They're specifically for, or they're supposed to be for annotating books. Cause sometimes I find quotes in books and I wanna highlight it so that I can go back to it and reread it cause it's significant or just really nicely worded or profound and I'd like to remember it, but I often forget it. And um, so that's why I got those for They're kind of pretty, but I don't think they'll bleed through the paper. And then I was needing a few makeup brushes. So I got these for like, I think it was seven or eight dollars. I like their, their green. I don't know how good a quality they are, but I'm not fancy. Yeah, they're not bad. Just for like blending my eyeshadow and stuff and along the, the lash line and stuff like that. So I didn't want to spend a fortune on them. So I think these were like, they might have been seven or eight dollars. Um, I love the color of them. They're so pretty, so pretty. So, I think that's good. So that's my Amazon stuff. And then yesterday we went to the thrift store quickly before we went to the farm. I found this little 90s print. So, um, the kitchen is the heart of the home, it's very country. This was like big when I was like probably in high school, this style, but I just found it so pretty. I just thought the illustrations were really sweet. So I got that, that was $4. And then I got, I got another little painting. It's similar to this. I'm kind of collecting water themed. Silas, Yeah. can you go in? I think, the other painting I got is in my room. This is quite nice. Those kids swimming that I got yesterday. So I got this. It's just a couple walking their dog by the beach. And that was $2. I got that today. Um, but over here on this wall, I'll probably put in like a little shot of it. But I'm, I've got like a very water theme sort of going on. Ships, ocean, water theme. Um, yeah, thank you. And then this one, 
I was just like some kids swimming in like a little swimming hole. So I thought that was kind of cute. Uh, and so I'm gonna just add to that wall as I find them. And then I found this amazing little bag. It's got mushrooms embroidered on it. I don't know if someone did it recently, but it looks quite old because the fabric inside is quite old. But it's like a little sewing um, knitting project bag. So I was thinking I want to make another crochet shawl this fall, hopefully. I made one a couple years ago. Maybe I'll put the picture up here, but if I can find one. And um, it's really lovely, but I want it to be lighter, like a lighter weight. So this might be good for like carting it around from outside to the couch or wherever I want to take it. Because it's a very easy pattern that I can just work on anywhere, really. It doesn't take a whole lot of thought. And then I found this cute little cottage core dress. It was giving me like April Cornell with like the little buttons down the side. And it's just like this little, I don't know what you call it, like a pinafore dress. And I thought that would be cute with like a little sweater over it or a little like long sleeve shirt under it for the fall. And then I got this cropped sweater. It's just from the Gap, but I like wearing crop sweaters over overalls or dresses. I think that looks really cute and it's cozy for fall again. So I'm happy about that. And, oh, and then at the, today, as I went down, I got this pie and tart, Williams Sonoma pie and tart book. So I thought that was kind of perfect. They have some nice ones in there. Um, I thought I might have some good techniques and stuff that, because I am not a master pie maker, but I do enjoy making pie. So I'm letting the berries defrost a little more. So I'll probably clean up the kitchen, do the dishes, get all prepped for making the pie. That is my little thrift haul for everybody. a little bit together okay so then I'm gonna put them in the and then I have 
I'm doing two lots, right? So I have, this has been in the freezer for a few hours now. So I'm gonna put that in here. And where's my lid? I just realized my thingy is broken. <laughs> Let's see, hopefully it still works. about the consistency of like peas so it's not too small not too big I think we're about there it's supposed to be ice water but I don't have ice so here we go so you kind of just drizzle it in by about two tablespoons when it can stay in a ball. Well, I feel like this is maybe a little too loose still. So I thought I'd come out here and um, while the dough is chilling in the fridge for an hour, I thought I'd come out and finish my book, The Honey Witch. I've really liked it so far. It's like cozy, cozy vibes. Um, there are some cringy parts. I'm not a huge romance or romanticy person. And it does get a little spicy in parts. Um, not that I'm like offended by it or bothered by it, but yeah, it's so pretty. Um, there are a lot of lines and wording and stuff in here that I've really liked. Like I like her writing. I'm just not sure that generally speaking that fantasy and like magic are really my thing. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can finish it. I don't have very much left. And I also realized that I haven't really given an update on my antidepressant kind of journey. I hate that word, but, um, so yeah, I have decided that I'm going to, I have lowered it. I, I went up in February and now I've lowered it. And then I tried to go even lower, but it was not, it was not a good time. So I went back up to like what I was on before February. Um, and I've leveled right out completely. Like I feel so calm, so much better. Uh, so, and I talked to my therapist about it and he was, you know, he noticed a difference in me. So I actually had my last therapy session. I had, originally like six to eight sessions phone sessions that I've been working through since basically February probably March and um, 
it's been like he's kind of watched me go up and down but definitely I feel like 20 milligrams is my sweet spot and I definitely feel even oh I bet that wind is that wind is probably affecting this um what was I saying so yeah, I've ended my therapy sessions, but he said, you know, if I decide that I need more sessions or if I try to lower my medication again, that he's always there, just ask for a referral and it's free therapy through our doctor's office, which is incredible. Um, Cause $500 a year doesn't get you very much, doesn't get you very far. So anyway, that feels good and I feel much better and I've started taking omega threes and um, it's supposed to help with your mind but also like depression and anxiety and also cholesterol so I'm taking though that and it's another reason that we've decided to you know try to eat a more balanced diet and focus more on movement and nutrition and all of that so um, we'll see how it goes. to say it was actually quite lovely Oops. yeah I enjoyed it uh, I'm not a huge fan of romance but this one wasn't bad yeah it was it was interesting I felt a little rushed in the end but it was yeah, I don't want to give it away. I don't want to say anything. I never know what to say about books, but I actually enjoyed this one. It reminded me of Anna Green Gables a little bit, or Anne with an E maybe more, and um, I don't watch Bridgerton, but it kind of had that sort of era vibe. Okay, I'm back inside. I got a little chilled outside, so I had to put a sweater on. Let's see if we can complete our pies. Making two pies was a little ambitious today. Hopefully we can get her done now. <laughs> 